Pindahin aja. Hey guys, I'm <laughs> a little more enthusiasm. Hey, how's it going? Hey gang, I'm here with um, Shannon DeVito, the star of uh, TV's Stare at Shannon. Well, not TV yet. Well, and I, mean, I eventually. I, but did I hear that you are starring in like a Matthew Fox sitcom now? Michael J. Fox. I'm not. I'm not starring in it. A Matthew Fox would be very different. Are you portraying like a beloved American actor who's returning to TV after his? I am. Courageous fight with Parkinson's. I am actually Michael J. Fox. It, we have very good makeup people on the Michael J. Fox show. <laughs> We were thinking about trying to find the best cookies in the city. Yeah. Um, so naturally, New York City gave us an awful, like, gray, rainy day. That's the Empire State Building right Where? there. The one that you can't see. I never turn down cookies. That's like turning down puppies. Do you want to pet this puppy? No. Do you eat puppies? No, I mean pet it. <laughs> Crap. So you want to go see about some cookies? Yeah. OK. Why does that? Why does he have googly eyes on top of his eyeballs? That makes zero sense. <laughs> costuming 101. Costuming 101. Work with me, people. So I'm not sure whose idea it was to come to Times Square. Siri failed us. We were looking for Cookie Monster. There is no Cookie Monster here. There's like six Elmos. One of which looks absolutely just terrifying. <laughs> there he is. That's the terrifying one. So I think we're going to go somewhere else and see about cookies. Maybe we'll see what, what Google has to say. Yeah, it's probably a better option. <laughs> Oh god, they're coming oh this god. way. Don't make contact! Don't make contact! Google, where can I get cookies nearby? There's a place called Pornalicious. <laughs> Man, Google's so much smarter than Siri. So tell me about Sarah Shannon. So I started Sarah Shannon about almost a year ago at this point. It started in November of last year and I just had this idea that I wanted to do a web series kind of taking uh, a comedic look at my life as a person with a disability and, and pushing boundaries and societal reactions to what happens and things like that and just put it on the web and see how it goes. I've watched and I, it seems like a lot of the episodes center around you learning something new. Yes. Is that deliberate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, because I, I was trying to think of a way to do things that a person with a disability generally in society wouldn't do. Like pole dancing? Like pole dancing. I like the idea of putting someone in an awkward situation. So really, uh, it's a show about poking fun at people with disabilities. Yeah, essentially. But it's mainly me, so it's like not like... Like I'm not going up to like blind people and like taking their cane away, like that would be terrible. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, maybe I should. <laughs> so you do stand-up comedy. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. How often do you do stand up? Mm, not as much as I should. You know what it is? Like I it's I like doing it. Um but I found that I I did it because it got me on stage and did something I wasn't super comfortable with. So like it forces me out of my comfort zone. And what is the goal? Uh, to be on the Daily Show. Um, <laughs> very specifically. Very specifically, I want to be a course on the Daily Show, uh, which is true. Uh, but no, I mean, it's well, you could be the senior disability disabled correspondent. Yes, yeah. sen senior disabled correspondent. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to be. Is there a ramp to the desk, uh, John? Although that would be really funny if I got there and like I stood at the bottom of the step and was like, "Really, John?" and then just left. <laughs> if you're out there, if you're watching, John Stewart sitting at home. Come on, that's good. Watching that's gold. YouTube videos. Do they do that? I'm sure someone does. And the first. Stop. Cookies! Credit Marge. Oh, they're is, warm. Yeah. They come That's out awesome. Of Isn't it owned by McDonald's? Are they really? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm serious. I need to hear a lot. Yeah, so you're welcome. I feel like good. I liked them a lot better before I thought they were McDonald's cookies. Do they have a lot of cookies on the Matthew J. Fox show? I'm gonna keep doing that. Yeah. So what do you think happened to Cookie Monster? Oh, like in Times Square? Yeah. Or I thought you meant in general. Yes. Well, has he been like has he been in rehab and I didn't hear about it or? No, they made him eat vegetables. Like I heard that. Yes, he used vegetables. Michelle Obama, right? Yeah, yeah. Was telling me. 
yeah, yeah, well, sure. Yeah. So we took a little break from our cookie search to stop at Fox News headquarters and ask them why they shut down the government. They didn't have an answer. Come on, Fox News, what's the deal? Why does Fox News hate veterans? Why does Fox News hate everything? Shake your fist at them. There we go. Oh, yay! It's gonna be a short piece of video because it's hard to do this when they are. So there's a cookie shop called Jacques Torres, apparently. They're like half French, quasi-French. Yeah, because they use the S. It's buried in the catacombs beneath Rockefeller Center. It's like a long journey to get there. <laughs> long journey's day and tonight. Yes, it's Casa Doom. We had to fight a Balrog to get these cookies. You're welcome, nerds. I, we haven't tasted these yet, and my arm is getting tired, so. Yummy! Mm, good. I like it. It's got a lot of butter in it. And chocolate. Maybe that's what Paula Dean is working ever since. She, her, she like. Oh no, they're racist cookies! Burned her career down. So, Cookie Crawl has me feeling less than awesome. <laughs> yes. I feel like I've eaten a lot of sugar. Well, because you have. And then you're on TV. I, uh, I yes, understand sometimes. that you were the star of Law and Order, what was it? Special Rape Unit? Or? Yeah, I was a retarded rape victim. Oh, you can't say that. Um, you can't say challenge anymore. I don't know what the PC term is for people you know, with intellectual disabilities. Is there not like an email chain or a newsletter that you get? Uh, yeah, I get a news alert on my phone. I ignore it though. I played an intellectual, a person with an intellectual disability. Especially able. Right, who got raped. Yes. It's an uplifting comedy piece. Okay, so tell us about, about theater. Uh, I do theater. Uh, well yeah, so, okay, so I was it's in... good enough. I was in a show off-Broadway uh, called Some More of Our Parts. Um, and it was great. It was a short play festival. There was like 10 minute plays. There was like six of them. And I was in a couple of those. They were written by some amazing playwrights from around the country. Um, my playwrights, uh, one of which writes for television um, and the other is like a mostly theater playwright, but um, he won all these crazy awards for this uh, long play that he did called The Whale. And they're turning it into a movie, which is going to be pretty impressive. Will you be starring in that? No, no, no. I'm not in The Whale. Oh. The Whale is about a very large gentleman. And you don't, you feel like you don't have range? Well, I'm just not that good. Okay. It's really what it boils I, down to. I find you very convincing as Matthew J. Fox. It's not getting old. No, it's not getting old. It's not at all to anyone. <laughs> He does know that it's Michael J. Fox. He's just trying to screw with me. You too. And Sarah Shannon. And Sarah Shannon. I do a lot of improv too. Okay, what do I do? What's um, the next Sarah Shannon? Well, you don't know because you don't even know when I'm uploading this. I guess who else doesn't know when I'm uploading this? You! Um, well, I have a few in the works. Okay. Um, I have one with your lovely girlfriend teaching me how to run. And I race she against... CoachCookieRuns.com. Yeah, yeah, go watch her stuff. She's great. Uh, a race against meat products. I think I saw something related. Oh, entirely pork. Entirely pork products. Pork isn't products. It? It's yeah. like all the parts of the pig. Yes. It's like they disassembled the pig and made you race all the separate parts. Correct. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. I'm me too. Uh, when do you when do you upload? On Wednesdays every two weeks. Wednesdays every two weeks. So there's a link. The pro I, I'll probably put some kind of link into the video too, but there's definitely a link down there. I love that. I love doing that. Yes. Down here. Down. Does are Matthew you, Fox have Parkinson's? Are you... I don't... I hope not. I hope not either. This is breaking news.